For the first, for the first time, time in Mogul, Mogul Mail history, I had to take down one of my videos. Not because what I said was wrong or because I had a take that was too hot and I was getting in trouble, but because when I made the video last oh, invent some, invent some in trouble. Dude, last night and scheduled it to upload today, it was already outdated. So here's the most updated story of kick.com, the newest live streaming that is in part guided by Trainwreck TV and might be a little bit suspicious. We'll get to the suspicious part in a bit, stick with me, but first, I owe you an apology. I've made a lot of videos over the past year about how Twitch is about to explode and implode and everyone who's ever used the platform will vanish. It's not really fully accurate. I mean, look, they have had their worst year in terms of PR and products released, but shit, if the Titanic's sinking and there's no lifeboats, you're probably gonna stay in the Titanic. And Twitch in 2021 had a 70.5% market share, and in 2022, they've increased their market share to 76%. There's no competitors to speak of. It's just YouTube and just Facebook. Now, this doesn't include vertical live streaming that's really exploding like TikTok and Instagram Live. But as far as traditional live streaming, if you want to stream, everybody's going to Twitch. 92% of people choose to stream on Twitch. Streaming as a whole is a bit down since the end of COVID. But since then, Twitch has gone up a little bit. Same with YouTube. Facebook's fallen off the face of the earth. Mark Zuckerberg's looking for his legs in the metaverse. Good luck with that. And those people are all going to Twitch. Not enough competitors. Enter Trainwreck TV, who, if you don't know, is a top 10 streamer over the past year. This is by hours watched, an inarguable metric. If you don't know his content, it's mostly based around slots. Or at least it was until Twitch said they're banning slots. On October 18th, they removed one of the main providers of slots content, Stake.com, who sponsored everyone, including Train. Train used to be known for streaming the most hours out of almost anyone, like on par with XQC, Hassan, Amaranth. But ever since the ban on October 18th, he kind of stopped streaming, at least stopped streaming as consistently as he used to. He has streamed four times in the past six weeks, just four times. And it's not a coincidence that the day after the gambling ban, he tweeted out, I'm going to create a platform for streaming that's not just for large creators, but it's also for small and mid-sized ones. Now, I was kind of curious to see what this would be, and we found out yesterday that it's the website known as kick.com because he dropped a twit longer that goes in depth of what the platform is and what mm -hmm. it'll stand for. He talks about his pedigree, and he says that Twitch says they need to cut our... Okay, okay, yes, yeah, 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 you guys know how I feel about analytics, Andy, and stats, Andy. I'm not, I'm just gonna let it play. ...pay, which is I true. Don't... They did cut the pay of creators. They offered 70-30 splits for each subscription, 70% going to creators, 30% going to Twitch. And then they changed it to 50-50 because operating costs are too high. At least that's Crusty what they lips, said. yeah. But they also tell Amazon and the media they're profitable and have more viewership and advertisers than ever. Whichever it is, it's obvious no benefits are being passed on to the creators who are the lifeblood of what made them successful in the first well, place. This is the Powerful argument. Look, I got, I got crusty lips. It gets crusty. Two years, it, Pugman. It gets crusty, man. It's crusty, man. Do you know you guys not get mouth crusty? Oh! He goes into depth about how the 50-50 split's unfair, and that even the 70-30 split that the competitor like YouTube oh. offers isn't enough. They can do better. Enter kick.com. We are offering a 95% split for creators. 95%! An unheard of split. Not just that, but also the tips that are built into the website called Kicks are going to be 100% for creators. Again, unheard of. Twitch's bit system, I think, is $1.40 per uh, dollar given to creators. And then I think Super Chats on YouTube are about 70-30, I believe. And so this Kick.com is going to be way better for smaller and mid-sized creators. He also says that anyone who goes on the website will get a sub button. He goes on to say that the TOS is going to be fair, unlike Twitch's, which has been a huge PR problem for the past few years. He goes into this weird little ramble about how he's also going we to allow gambling, but it's going to be ethical gambling as decided by Trainwrecks TV, which seems a little weird. And you go uh, I think what I mean by ethical, okay, is that it's no fillers. And, and sorry, I think it's probably something like, um, it's like something, some people literally brag about having fills, okay? It's just no fillers in a story. And then they can show just a contract. If you want to stream slots, you you show your contract. If there's no fillers, chilling. I, I still, I don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use the word ethical, but still, I think it's just no filler type shit. Goes into some sp a filler is basically you're, you're playing indefinitely, right? And you don't keep your winnings. It's fake shit. It's that you're not even playing, you're not even gambling. If you're going to show gambling, show gambling. Don't be a dumb fuck in a story. Specifics of what that means. Okay. That will remember that fact. And then he goes on to say, give kick.com a year. 
It's going to be buggy. It's going to be weird. It's going to have some growing pains. But give it a year. They're trying to become a real profitable business by selling to advertisers and not taking money from creators. What, what is it like staking? Dude, 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 dude. How many times have I gone off of gambling when we were gambling? Because I, I had no more crypto left. Well, I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait until my own crypto cleared. If I had fills, I would have just kept gambling. I went down to zero almost every day. I left gambling after like an hour, two hours. I, I, I was at zero. Okay. Now, the fact of the matter is that's also what Twitch is trying to do. That is in part why Twitch removes things like gambling Guys, or, or, or the let me, let, 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 let me explain what fills are. What fills are, you can't go to zero. You can't go to zero. On your own after, after two hours, lol. You know that most of my streams, we literally start after like 20 minutes. The, by the end of it, by the end of it, 20 minutes, 20 minutes, because I, I, I would go harder. The hot tub meta. Literally left. Or, or they, that's, that's zero. They, 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 they ban so much is because they need to be able to cater to advertisers, something that YouTube has been wildly successful on the video service and the live streaming. Uh, uh, okay, false, 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 eight hours. All right, you know what, dude, fuck it. I'm, I'm so tired of this shit. Let's just go, let's go to a tracker. I got you, bro. Service is a little bit. I got you. Ready for this shit? I got you, chat. Guys, June, when chat, when chat. June, what else? When was that? What, what was like the end of Gamma, pretty much? 10 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour, 25 minutes, one hour, four hours, two and a half hours, two 20 hours, 30 minutes, two hours. Should we just continue or uh, are you guys just wrong? I said it. By the end, I was doing like two hours at most. And look at this shit. The average is under two hours by a long shot. One hour, one hour, one hour, three hours, one hour, one hour, two hours, three hours, one hour, three hours. Should we go? Should we continue? You're done. You are you guys fucking done? Oh, oh, one a seven hours. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, that's, Fuck you, that's incredible, dude. That is incredible. I cannot believe it. Holy shit. So it's like it's like I don't even know what like. What do you mean? Who cares? You tried to expose me about something and you're wrong. I'm just telling you guys. You need to stop doing that shit. Like stop. Stop lumping me with dog shit trash when you have all the proof that it's not. A bit further behind on. But we're going to get to that in just a moment. Is it true that Kick.com is trying to be uh, profitable through advertising? Or are there maybe more nefarious methods they are profitable? Pluto said your average is above, is above three hours. I get that overall. I said by the end, by the end, everybody, I went harder on the bets, which means I didn't last as long. It's exactly what I said. By the end, the sessions were like, on average, less than an hour long. Literally. Profitable. Anyway, let's first take a look at the kick.com website. It looks pretty good at first glance. You have uh, a rotating banner of streamers. You have a bunch of categories. You have some recommended channels. You have the recommended on the left as well. But it also looks oddly familiar. Some people noticed. In fact, this is Twitch's website. A rotating banner of streamers at the top, categories you'll like, some streamers you'll like, the streams on the left. And at first, people thought that this might be a direct rip of Twitch. Now, I had my uh, uh, software engineer, Otto, who, who I've hired full-time, look into this for me. I said, is this is this a direct rip? And, and no, it is unique code with some preset, uh, pre, uh, pre-built pre assets, uh, apparently. You know, you know, dude, you know, you know, dude, I became genuinely annoyed watching your stream solely because of how I'm feeling stupid the chat is and how it doesn't need it. You know, dude, I actually agree. And people, people will say you changed. When I have to be honest with you, dude, they changed a lot. Of, a lot of them, at, a lot of this gaslighting dodge, at, they changed quite literally. Holy some, shit! Uh, images Holy that might be fuck, taken from dude. Live, Thank uh, you. Some UI UX features uh, inspired by Twitch, but it is original code, and it seems outside of a few bugs where somebody had like three hundred thousand streamers and a lot of people streaming a lot of gay porn to be working all right for a day one soft launch of a website that's in beta. I mean, the streams look nice, they function nice, and people are succeeding. It does seem, however, that the most used category on the website is slot streams. Specifically, the slot streams that are no longer allowed on Twitch of stake.com. Which makes a lot of sense, you yeah. You see, this is one of the biggest streamers on the platform right now. Why does this matter? Well, it was discovered from- I'm banned? Did, I, did we see it? 
oh, a couple please. of people last night, Quarantine and also Coffeezilla, that kick.com is a project of stake.com. I think there's no need to look for the business model anymore. It's a stake investment. And then there's some information here that shows that the Discord server in, 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 the, in the subreddit were both owned and operated by somebody on the stake uh, um, team. And that a lot of people were uh, tweeting out uh, uh, November 19th when kick.com was originally uh, uh, launched. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so far, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really see a problem. For stake giveaways. and then Except for the infrastructure or the coding or whatever the fuck. Even I more damning, as a if you go to uh, stake.com's LinkedIn, there were uh, a lot of job opportunities to, to create a live streaming platform, aka Kick. Kick is a new venture created by the founders of EasyGo and stake.com with new studios in Australia and Europe. So it seems like rather than being this virtuous website, which is supposed to be for small and medium-sized creators to actually get their fair share, that you have to give a year of growing pains to become a, a, a profitable business that will sell to advertisers because of all the people that will switch to this because it's actually good for the people. This is a loss leader for stake.com to be- I, I'm gonna go ahead and counter, uh, fire back at uh, London and say, if your website says you get 95% of your revenue, right? And your creator goes on and so, and and, and uh, makes an account and makes ninety five percent cut. I don't see the problem. I don't think it's mis even misadvertising. I think wait. I don't think they're being virtuous. If they say you get ninety five percent and they get ninety five percent, where is the problem at? If they want to lose money and make less money, so the creators can make more money. Uh, so be it be able to advertise their business in a way that gets around the bans on the mainstream platforms like Twitch and YouTube. This is just another way to do sponsored gambling content. And Train isn't just the virtuous person that he might be pretending to be. He is trying to do this in part because he wants to go back to doing sponsored gambling content. And that's also why he is taken like the mast of 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 letting people know about this is like a take. It's like mostly again, mostly against Gamba, then against that. It seems like this is more like a you shouldn't gamble on stream. You should be sponsored for gambling, which is a complete different issue. I don't think it has anything to do with the website. Sorry, that's my thoughts. Dot com. While also not being an owner of it. That's that's he's, he's probably what, what paid it? out the ass by stake dot com to gamble on the website which is a lot better uh, of a gig than being like a 30% owner in the website that you have to grow from scratch and you only make money if you are successful in growing a business. I don't think he really cares about that because he'll get his paycheck just for gambling on the mm -hmm. website. And that kind of leaves us uh, at the end of the story. What does it mean? Is kick.com a, a huge scam? Well, if you ask DJ Wheat, longtime employee of Twitch who left recently, he says that it is a sham. And he can't sit by watching the nonsense. In my mind, I think it's... So usually when you bring on an expert in a certain topic, you bring them as an expert to tell you why something is a certain way, right? And you ask them to explain with his expert take of, of an insider, what are the intricacies of a certain topic? This is going to come out of old work as an expert who's been there and says, it's a sham. Like, okay. Cool. What else are we getting out of this expert? I don't get what, 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 what's going on here. In my mind, I think it's really bad that Train didn't disclose that this was uh, a stake.com owned website. Not only did it not disclose it, it felt like they were kind of trying to hide it as well. Like one of the models. Oh, am, am, am I putting in Train? We, I went over this, this entire thing yesterday. The entire, the, the entire thing took longer. And I ripped it through Train's bad arguments. And I reinforced some of his good ones. Literally, I just went against it. What? Because it, it, it's just true. Moderators on the subreddit was a stake moderator as well. And then I think they removed him. So it, it just seems a bit fishy. Like, sure. It, it, it be operated and owned by stake.com. But be honest about it too. Like you still... Let me explain the current problem with everybody these days. Which is you, chat, and me. Everybody out there, okay? The problem, okay, is that we buy packages. Don't buy packages from people. Buy takes. One at a time. If somebody is a dumb fuck, okay, and says, dude, don't be racist, right? I get it, dude. I get it, okay? I get it. You know what? I hate that guy and, and always says, but you know what? That take, 
It's right. It's right. Am I a glazer? Glazer? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. All these takes are trash. That one take that I agree with, you know, didn't have to be honest with you. I agree. The point of people these days is that they 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 buy everything in package. Andrew Tate, he says, dude, fuck heartbreak. Go through it. This girl, fuck her, get money. This this problem you have right now, work through it. Go to the gym, get buff, get money. And you know what, dude? He is right about most of everything. But he says, you have micro accident? Fuck women! Is what he says, right? Or whatever. Then you're like, you're like, wait, um, yeah, yeah, because I agree with all the rest. I agree with, I agree with the, the other 10 takes. Don't buy takes in packages. Buy a take one at a time. Okay? Simple concept. So no, no, you're not glazing somebody. Okay? Because he says one thing that is correct and is then things that he's wrong about. Do it one at a time. Simple concept. Who could feasibly provide value to creators who aren't interested in gambling content because you give them such a good cut because you're getting the blood money from all the gambling casino users? Yeah, there's still some value that can be seen in there for small and mid-sized creators. But they should know going in that it's not because you're going to create a successful business that's going to sell to advertisers a year from now because you have so many users and so many watchers. It's because you're making a shit ton of money as a loss leader from all the gambling sponsored streams. Yeah, I don't know. It's when you make things that right, like like blood bite type shit, I, I don't. Which, which these are these are the kind of annoy me overall though. Not only that, there seems to be a couple things that that might get this website shut down instantly. No shot. Yeah, but Is he's this right. Just an embed, dude. I, I I hate to do what about ism, okay? What 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 about? I say say it again, chat. What about if you t t take a deal with World Cup to broadcast their thing, right? And you make money off of off of World Cup, right? And 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 then. Six thousand people died building World Cup. Are you taking blood money, dude? What the fuck? Now, it Wait. was revealed yesterday that a couple of the streams were just Twitch embeds, which obviously isn't allowed. And Twitch would yes, but no one cares exactly. Put your care points in the right places. Put that shit. Up. Stop being a dumbass. Instantly take down dumbass. They had OTK network that if you click on it in the kick website brings you directly to Twitch because they're not actually streaming on kick. They're streaming on Twitch and it's embedded. Now, I believe they've removed that feature since I, I actually had again auto try to do an embed stream and it works, but nothing displays. So it seems like they blocked that off. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. The website will get instantly shut down. But here's my take. This website will probably in six months either disappear or be flooded with gambling streamers and should only be touched by the people who want to lose all of their money or live vicariously through people who are losing all of their fake money because all of it's sponsored anyway. That's about it, boys. Uh, that's the update. And, and, and subscribe while you're here. Okay. Thanks for watching. All right. See you later. See you later. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to keep it up with you. I'm going to keep it up with you. Then, okay. um, lot of, lot of good takes, lot of bad takes, lot of good ones, lot of bad ones. Right? That's just kind of here about it. I think I was pretty impartial about this. Uh, yep, I think that was fine. Yo, this is X, X on yeah. the beat, yo. Okay. Boy, my voice as well. That S. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know. He's just so soy. Anyone knows that boy? I don't know, he's just so soy